on behalf of Canada and the rest of the world, um, Americans, are you good? We're good. But if we run out of weed, everything's fucked. You can make this simple cake with just three ingredients. Here's how. Start by blending 350 grams of your favorite store-bought cookie in a food processor. We chose graham crackers, but you can pretty much use any kind of cookie that you like. Add the finely crushed cookies to a large bowl, then sprinkle in baking powder through a sieve. This is what's going to make your cake rise so it's fluffy instead of hard and dense. Whisk together, then pour in warm milk. Now use a spatula to thoroughly mix everything together. Once it has the consistency of a cake batter, pour into a 7 inch square pan lined with parchment paper that overhangs slightly. Gently shake the pan to remove any air bubbles and even out the top, then pop in the oven at 340 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. You can test if it's fully cooked by piercing the center with a skewer or toothpick. If it comes out clean, the cake is fully cooked. Remove from the pan and invert onto a clean cutting board or plate. Gently peel off the parchment paper and allow the cake to cool completely. Once it's cooled, top your cake with your favorite icing. Here we used a simple white chocolate ganache. Try this recipe at home and let us know which cookies you used and how it went. Cut your rice paper in half and then cut it in half again. And cut it in half just one more time. We're just gonna deep fry this. For my sauce, I have kipi mayo, sriracha, and a bit of sugar. Add your salmon and the sago if you have it. And this will be our topping. Add my spicy salmon and top with an avocado. You might be surprised by how easy it is to make crepes at home. Here's a basic recipe you can try for yourself. Start by sifting pastry flour into a large bowl. Next, add one tablespoon of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt to the flour and whisk to combine. Now it's time to add the wet ingredients, starting with milk, followed by two whole eggs. Give the batter a really good whisk. This isn't like pancake batter where you want to leave lumps. For the ideal crepe batter, you need it super, super smooth. So to ensure there are absolutely no lumps, strain the batter through a sieve and use a spatula to push it through. Now you're ready to start cooking. Melt some butter in a non-stick or cast iron pan over medium heat. Use a ladle to scoop a portion of the batter into the pan, then gently swirl the pan so the batter spreads out evenly across the surface. Cook for about one minute, then use a spatula to gently flip the crepe and cook for about another minute on the other side. This recipe will make roughly eight to 10 crepes of this size. You're now ready to add any filling you like. We stuck with the classic Nutella, but fruit or jam would be amazing as well. Fold the crepe into quarters and you're ready to serve. I know you got that stimuli chick. Huh? What? My mom challenged me to make a meal out of five random ingredients. First, I chose peanut butter. Then I chose a chicken card, so I went with chicken breast. And then I got garlic. So, so far, this is a weird combination. <laughs> After that, I got lime. And then I chose a wild card, and my mom made me choose green peppers. So now I'm making a meal out of chicken, garlic, green peppers, peanut butter, and lime. I started by cutting slits in my chicken and zesting my lime. Then I rubbed my lime zest into my chicken. And I cooked it in a frying pan over medium heat. Then for my marinade, I added garlic, lime juice, and peanut butter. And mixed it in with water to have a more saucy consistency. And then I had to chop up my green peppers. I actually wore masks during this process because they were pungent. Okay, now you gotta taste it. And then my mom challenged me to taste it and, well... What in the sour, spicy, sweet is that? <laughs> But I decided to still give the peanut butter sauce a chance, so I put it over my chicken and broiled it in the oven. And now it's time to try it. <laughs> Cassie, admit you failed. So yeah, it looks like this time my mom won the challenge. My child came to class today. Hi, favorite freshman. Don't go into class. No, that's Miss Anderson, okay? She's a sub and doesn't take attendance. She's a very nice lady, but she doesn't know what's going on. So you're gonna come with me to the cafeteria instead. Only thing it said we had to do today was review for the quiz. And let me give you a little piece of advice. All the answers are on Quizlet. You know what? You have a lot to learn. I'm going to turn this into an advice session, okay? So now I'm your teacher. This is some top secret information, but since I adopted you as my favorite freshman, I guess I gotta tell ya. Okay, rule number one, I don't care what anybody says, procrastination works. And the older you get, the better you are at it. Last night I wrote an essay in two hours. It felt like a fever dream. Number two, popularity disappears by the time you're like a sophomore. So if anybody in your grade is like, oh my god, I'm so popular, then guess what? They're not. If you have any problems with anybody like that, tell me so I can call them out and embarrass them. Do you want to go get food? Oh! Oh my god, yes, you match my energy so well. Let's go.
only thing do it, only thing do it, do it. Top notch bitch on a list, dick. This city crush shit can't flex like this. Old country ass bitch can't dress like this. Can't die to it on the dick in a bitch. Fuck boys, I ain't press one. I need a nigga with a pack. My mom challenged me to make a meal out of five random ingredients. First, I chose pizza, but then I chose cinnamon, <laughs> and then it got weirder. I chose grapefruit, <laughs> I chose sugar, and then I chose cheese. So now I have to make some sort of pizza with sugar, cheese, grapefruit, and cinnamon. This should be interesting. I started by rolling my pizza dough into a ball and then flattening it, and then I divided it into nine even pieces. From there, I put my pizza dough straight into the air fryer to cook the dough. While my pizza dough was cooking, I zested my grapefruit and I squeezed some juice out of it as well. Halfway through the cook time, I flipped the pizza dough and then I let the pizza dough cool completely while I made a cream cheese frosting with zest and powdered sugar. I mixed this with a hand mixer until it was nice and creamy and then I added in some grapefruit juice as well. Then I added this cream cheese frosting to a piping bag and then I piped it into my pizza dough. I sprinkled with some powdered sugar and cinnamon and took a bite. This dessert was so good, I had to do my Cassie dance. <laughs> Let's make homemade biscuits. Stand by your pan. Preheat that oven, baby. Set together two cups self-rising white lily with half teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon salt. I melt about that much lard in my skillet. I grate a quarter cup lard or frozen butter. Get your hands up in there for a little bit till it looks like this. Use whole fat buttermilk if you're doing buttermilk, about three fourths cup. If it's still too dry, add more at a quarter cup. Don't ever mix them. Flour your hand, put them in, flip, flip them over in the grease, but don't overhandle them. Act quickly, top them off with some melted butter and put them in the oven immediately. Ooh, honey hush. Mmm, mm, like a little butter sandwich. Let's take a bite. Mmm, y'all. My husband and I were having such a happy new year, so I decided to make some quick oatmeal for breakfast. And I went in the kitchen and I saw that he put trash in the trash can without putting a liner in there. And I said, oh my God, I ran to the bedroom and he was in there relaxing. I said, get up. Why would you do that? So I made some oatmeal with oat milk, butter, vanilla, salmon, and I was stirring. Oh, I was mad. I was pissed. Why would you? You saw it was empty. And then I decided to add some sweet cream because I was like, that would probably be good. And I was stabbing the oatmeal. Ooh, I was trying to calm down. The stirring, it really helped me. It did. The stirring did. And then I brought him in the kitchen. I said, this is your oatmeal here on the left. And see, I had to put a liner in there. So yours going in the trash. And then I walked to the bedroom and enjoyed my oatmeal. Happy New Year.